So it's something called do it your self. You gotta come to the place. You gotta come to the place where you have to allow people to see that hey, I don't really need you. It is by grace that I, that I allow your gifted ministry. I grace you. I grace you to develop your your giftings by giving you an assignment in the house of God. That's grace. Because we can allow you to come right here and sit down and, and dry up like old flowers. Uh-huh. But because we see the call, we try to utilize you so you can become developed. And so when you see a level of development come from you, all of a sudden you start taking engagement to go out without the release. This week, this week, the people call me. The pastor knew where you were working. He knew the name of the boss. He knew the name of the person that you spoke to. Because the level of honor and respect that they call. I need my pastor to keep me covered because I don't know what I'm going to get in the face. And so I know I speak to the mind of God. I know I'm going to be covered. But today, we have a lot of people. They take on these new jobs. And I'm not saying your pastor is gone and you got to report everything. But it's something called a level of honor, especially when you blessed serve in that church man you ain't just no regular member in the congregation you are one for the God you are one for the God who serves and if you are not going to be in place I believe your leader should know about it and so this is what we call accountability you are accountable how is it for God you are the you go to God you are the associate leader the pastor the assistant pastor the the, the, the adjutants or other parents or nursing aides and administration of the church you took on a whole job that's going to take you out of the house Come on now. and your pastor is not aware that you're going to have to find somebody else to cover this place because this individual don't have enough respect and reverence to say pastor I'm not going to be out next week. Pastor, this is where I'm at. This is what's happening. How? How? What is? And I just want to jump from this. See, it's not that God wants us to honor everyone. It's not, it's not that we have, we, we, he means that he, he wants us to honor the activities of sinner, sinners. But he wants us to I'm going to God honor and respect everyone. So this is not just a highlight for your leader, but even more so for those of them that are in authority. Amen. What is? Amen. We are not to worship people as those who soon soon go, go crazy over celebrities, but we have to show all man honor. We are to. Because you cannot lead someone to Christ who you have dishonored. You cannot sincerely communicate the love of God if you do not put respect the person to whom you are speaking to. But our tradition of dishonoring people has not come through God. No. But in fact, I'll tell you this much. The kingdom of God emerges with a what? Completely opposite spirit that we have. The kingdom of God is a, is a culture of grace with honor and respect to the dignity of all men. That's what our culture is. And we have to consider within the body of Christ, we are commanded to honor every member, actually given even to the unseemly parts. Huh? A more abundant part. Even people who we don't understand. Even more, you should honor and respect them. Pastors, you tell me this girl is bad. I don't really understand her even the more. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Honor awareness. Yes, sir. But we don't do that. Boy, I see her when she wears her iPhone with her travel. And you walk past and you put your phone up. Nobody picked you nothing. Amen. But you don't want to speak to her because she looks bad. Church. I'm afraid of church people. Oh, you gotta get up. Listen, you gotta be afraid of these people. 
the devil kill you with your eyes wide open. <laughs> And I'm not preaching out of something nobody did me. I'm preaching because of the word and I believe that the faith and the end of the world need the hair. And many leaders need to start to say, God, your heart. Because they will break you down, hurt you, and don't even care about how it affect you afterwards. They don't care. We are dealing with a heartless generation. We are dealing with a church world that is open to all sorts of things. So look out for those of them who you thought was unchangeable. They're about to change. Wow. <coughs> Heavy, y'all. Because it is stated that we are also called to what? Honor all men, like I was to do and also what? Honor those of them that are in high position according to 1 Peter chapter 17. When you got that, what is y'all? We are additionally required to honor, honor the church elders according to 1 Timothy chapter 5 and 17. And at work, we should honor and respect those who have what? Power or who are our employees according to 1 Timothy 1 and verse 6. Now I need you, we got to read this thing. This thing will make sense, y'all. I know the fool might call me home. Go to God. And so I need you to grab your Bible. Go here with me first. But I want you to get this in your spirit. Get this, y'all. 1 Timothy chapter 5 and verse 7. And then I need somebody else to get 1 Timothy chapter 6 and verse 1. Heard of God. I need you to get it quickly. Heard of God because it, it makes sense. And I want, I want to teach you something. I want to show you something here. I want to show you what's, what's happening. I want to show you some of the possibilities of some things that you can shift. Heard of God. Come. On. The first one is what? Um, first Timothy chapter 5 and verse 17. If you have it, just open read it aloud. Come on quickly. And the elders that rule will be counted worthy of the That the elders that rule will be counted worthy of what? Double honor. Double honor. How in the world? Listen, the level of honor that you have for your pastor should be the highest level you have in your local church. It's not that you dishonor other people, but even more so the one that speaks as an oracle of God and bring directors to your life. And what is that again? What is that written again? It says, I'm double what? Double honor. Uh-huh. Especially they who labor well. Especially they who labor well. In the word of doctrine, to one who brings the word of life to you, you have to respect and honor them. Amen. We allow people to disrespect us as leaders because we try to keep them. When you start disrespecting and dishonoring me as your leader, I'm sorry, something's going to have to break. 